Hi, I'm Gloria Cabral, and this is my friend CJ. He came back to help me today do some Halloween treats. Do you like Halloween? What do the What do the ghosts say on Halloween? B O O O O. So welcome to my home. Come on in, and we'll start making all these wonderful treats for you. traditional um, crispy treats using crispy cereal, marshmallow, and butter. We melt the butter, put it in the pan, and I'm going to add my marshmallows. Any recipe will work. You can buy marshmallows now in all kinds of flavors. I, at Christmas time I've seen gingerbread flavored marshmallows, strawberry flavored hearts, so whatever flavor you would like to do with this. And the Rice Krispies. Now CJ loves these Rice Krispies. He's having a ball, but don't eat over them, CJ. We're just gonna take some out. I'll put them over here for you, okay? How's that? All right, because we don't want to put everything, there we go. And CJ just has his growing spur, and he's just so hungry all the time, right? No, no, we'll eat those there. Remember when you're working with kids in the stove, it is very hot, so it's better to keep them at a safe distance. While this is starting to melt, do you think you can spray this for me? You know, I spray it so I can put all my marshmallow stuff in here and it won't stick. So let's carefully, can you spray right there? I want to do it. Okay. All right. And if it gets a little bit much, let's wipe some off. Because a little bit, it'll take off, it'll have some of the flavor. If this was butter, I would have no problem with, but with with a spray pan, it, ha it gives it an offset flavor. So we just add a little bit because we want it to come out, right? So it doesn't stick, because then what will happen? We won't be able to eat it. All right, let's check our... Using mini marshmallows, you can use the big marshmallows too. And, it, and I cut them up smaller when I make them with the bigger marshmallows. It's whatever I have in the house. If I want to use a cocoa flavored crispy, or even like fruit pe fruity type pebbly flat ones, it gives you whatever flavor you want. Sometimes I'll just make them plain or chocolate and add in my nuts, my, if, you know, if you're gonna give the kids something sweet to eat, hide in some things that are good. Peanuts, if they're allergic to peanuts, you have to be very careful, but soy works great with it. And because you can have soy nuts and work around the different kids. I love cranberries. Well, when this, when this dries later, what we'll do is we'll cut it up and drizzle a little chocolate. Are you having fun over there? I think you're my monster for Halloween, huh? Are you my monster for Halloween? Mmm. We're gonna call you... What? What? Tyrannosaurus CJ? No. No? What am I gonna call you? What are you gonna be for Halloween this year? Are you gonna be a dinosaur? A dog. <gasps> a dog? Can you bark like a dog? Yeah, I see you eating like a puppy. Yeah. What we'll do before we finish this, we're gonna go wash our hands because you know it's very important because we have our hands nice and clean. Because people will be eating the food, so we don't want to have our hands all over that. No, that's gonna be enough for now because we're gonna use that in the recipe. Alright, do you want while I heat this up, you wanna go do me a favor and go wash your hands? After all those little pieces of there, yeah. Okay, let's go wash your hands. Yeah. Oh, my big boy. Okay, and then I'll finish this. So when you come back, we'll finish doing this. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, all our butter and marshmallows melted. So now I'm going to add the crispies. I'll take it off the stove and I'll put it over here so this way I can watch CJ because CJ is now doing his dinosaur apple. So we'll just mix all this in here. See this is nice and easy treat. They have all these prepackaged in the store and it's much better doing this at home. You can make these very healthy because marshmallows are basically egg whites and gelatin so they do have and sugar and they do have protein in it but there's 
literally no fat. And it's what you put into it is what it can be nice and flavorful. See, pretty simple, pretty easy. Now I'll pour it in here. It's mine already, this is just a nine by 11 pan, it's a little smaller. If I put it into an eight by eight pan, I would definitely have nice big fat pieces and I would get about nine pieces. Mm. Depending on how many people you are serving is how big of a pan you want to put it in. Or you can double the recipe. Okay, so we're gonna put it all in here. And I could take my hands and oil them, but I find it much easier. I can take a little, just a little bit of spray and spray something on top and then put a piece of parchment or something, but sometimes I just take, see what I'm doing? Can you help me press that down? See? It keeps the hands, even though his hands, it's warm. It's nice and warm. So at least his hands aren't touching the food. Okay, my all set. Okay, I'm gonna put this over there. What is that anyway? That's the Rice Krispie Treats. We'll get them nice and tight. And once they cool, we'll be able to cut them up. So CJ, now that they're nice and clean and all washed, there you go, look. We've got our Rice Krispie milk. Treats. And I'm gonna leave them over here. We'll have some milk in a little bit to have with your Rice Krispie Treats. And I'm gonna cut this. You wanna try a piece of this? No. No? Because you had marshmallow and you ate all my Rice Krispies. How about trying a little piece? Ah ha ha, ah ha ha. Okay, it's all mine. I'll have, I guess I'll try it. Okay, you can try it, here you go. Mm. Now that they've cooled, they've had time to dry. Yeah. Good. Okay, so you're, gonna, you're gonna watch, you're gonna watch? Okay, now that they've cooled, they've had time to dry. What I like to do is I trim the edges off because those are my samplers. And I'll cut these up. Can you, you gonna help me decorate these? Oh no, I have to help decorate. Yeah, huh? Uh, no. All right, this is the one you had, so we'll keep that one over there. Hey, get off me. And since they are very sweet, we'll just cut them in smaller bite-sized pieces. Hey, it looks like cake. It looks like a little birthday cake, doesn't it? Watch your fingers now. See this knife? This knife is very dangerous, so you have to be very careful. Yeah, I was going to get this over. Where are you going to take that piece? This is your piece. These will be my pieces for later. See, how's that look? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> now, I'm going to get a little bit of a chocolate. Stay right there. My sprinkles. Do you remember where I put my sprinkles? Did you hide them on me, CJ? Are they over here? <gasps> Good call. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of white chocolate, but it's a yellow color. And what I want you to do is put some sprinkles on it. Which one are you gonna pick, the chocolate sprinkles or the pretty colored ones? I'll, I'll put a little bit of this one. You're gonna put a little bit of that one? Yeah, and then a little bit of different ones. How about these, look, you sprinkle a lot of those on there. Then you're gonna do it really hard, watch. Pretty cool, huh? No good. Okay. I choose no. So this was very simple to make, wasn't it? Did you have fun doing this one? Yeah. Yeah? You can put some big ones on there too? And once the chocolate cools, we'll put it in the in little um, plastic papers, so this way the kids can have as a Halloween treat. Oh, it's not coming out. Not coming out? Let's see if we can work this together. Can you shake it a little bit? Shake it. And then we go back. Hey. That's a lot of sprinkles. Okay, so let me go put that so we can start our cupcakes. Sometimes we have to use mixes in our, you know, in the times because it's much easier, less time for the children to pay attention, it's a short attention span. We're gonna save this for a little bit. We're gonna make psychodelic cupcakes. 
And what I try to do is add all my milk, eggs, and oil at the beginning and mix it. Then I add my dry ingredients because I don't like to over mix my cake mix. You gonna hold that, CJ? Because we're gonna use that scooper in a minute. It goes scoop and it squeezes it inside, 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 inside. And wait, what does that do? And this is the cake mix already prepared, so I just have to put it in. Want to see what it's doing? See, it mixed all my eggs. Oh, I thought that still was the waste. Yeah, now wow. I'm going to put all my cake mixture in here. Sometimes I'll adjust flavors in my cake mixture. You like that, huh? Scoop. Oh yeah! I want that. Shh. So my secret stuff we're gonna do here is make colored batter. After the cake batter's made, it's gonna have all these different colors so we can put them all together. Holy cupcakes, not a cake. And make cupcakes. I want cake instead. What? I want a cake instead of cupcake. Okay, I have a plain yellow cake mix, and what I'm gonna do is gonna put them in bags. Again, because when we're working with children, we try to keep this as clean as we can. So ready? I'm gonna put two scoops in here. Can you do two scoops? Okay. And then we, we put it in here. Hey, why is it going? Because we're gonna go fast. Let's get a big scoop like this. Okay. Right. Then we scoop. And then scoop it down. Oh, very good. Let's do one more big one. Wait, can I do it all by myself? Just like that. I want it. You can do it like no, that. No, don't okay. hold it. Okay. Now turn it over. There you go. That mixes it. That's right. All right. Now hold that. Let's put that aside. You can put it right in that dish for a second. And what I'm going to do is add some more color. I want a real yellow color, so I'm going to add more yellow food coloring. And this is where I'm going to need you in a little bit because you're going to have to help me. You know what you're going to do? Squishy, squishy. Oh. But what did I learn, huh? What did I learn about working with you, CJ? Make sure the bag is closed tight. <laughs> See, what you do is you close the bag nice and tight, try to get out almost all the air, and start rubbing it. And I'll start making more colors, squish it carefully. You squish it? Yeah, just nice and soft. <laughs> it's like over there. Yeah, that's like what we did. we've done this before, huh? We ah! Do. It's all right, it's only a little bit there, it's closed, just a little bit. See, while you're doing that, I'll make another color. Is it done yet? Almost. Keep doing it. So the next color is ready. This is a yellow cake mix, so yellow will always have a little different is color. This good? So if I add, I'd have to add a lot of red. Or hey, like is orange. this it? Yeah, look, look at the color, huh? Big difference. Yeah. Let's Can add, I put it in there? Though? No, that's going to stay right where it is. I'm going to give you another one. Mm -hmm. Now this one is red inside here, but it's a little bit of yellow to it, so it'll end up being what color? Is it red and orange? Look at the colors. I want them all the same color. Okay. And I had more bags and which sometimes bless you. Why don't we okay. why don't we stop right now? See, and that's the good thing about the bag. And go run and wash your hands. Okay. Oh. Alright, and come right back and I will get the rest ready for you. We just try to make sure their hands are always washed and nice and clean because they'll put their fingers in their mouth and before you know it, they have little stomach aches and we don't want them to be sick. Don't worry about two hands because they is the same color as blood. Did you wash your hand? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now you got to do the red one. Next color I'll do is blue. And what, of, and the, uh, what is the other color? The blue and then we'll have green. Is it done now? Almost. 
see? How you can go like this nice and easy, see? Now it's done. Looks pretty good. You ready for the blue one? Now do we dump it in? No, we don't dump it in there. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them. We're going to squeeze them into the cupcake containers. See, this way it'll be. Now you want to make this one kind of blue? Here's the next one. Here you go. And I'll make a green one. And then we'll leave the rest the same batter color. If you're using white, if you're using sprinkles, you can do any type of work you want with this. You can figure if you're using a white cake mix and it's uh, 4th of July, I can make red, white, and blue cakes. Don't put that in your mouth. Hey, Christmas, I can do red and green and, you know. You have to be creative. That's, and that's what keeps Is it done it yet? Uh, almost. You're almost there. Now is it done. Yeah, it's just about done. Ready for the next one. Black. Mm. Nope. Green. Try again. Green. There you go. Is it done now? Okay. There you go. Now make this one green. I'm going to have to have one more. And the last one's going to be the regular color because we're going to put them all in bags so we can squeeze them in the cupcake pans. That sound easy and fun? Not tight, nice and loose. Just keep rubbing it like you want your legs to be rubbed. See? Boy, cooking with you, I get a lot of dishes, huh? <laughs> and the last one will be the plain batter. We call them psychedelic. When we were youngsters, my mother used to make this for us as a treat. And she used to always like uh, experimenting when she, she learned how to cook it after now? she got married. Yep, it looks done. <gasps> Is those the only color? Watch, watch what's going to happen next. Okay. What? Say. Now, we're doing, now um, what colors do I have? Scissors. There. There, it's all done. I worked it. That one's all done? Okay, we're going to find my scissors in a minute. Let me make sure I get all these colors. See how nice, look how green that got, huh? Yeah. Once we're done, okay, sit up. You don't want you to fall over, honey. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to spray this pan. Okay, we're going to spray this. And we're going to fill them all with these papers. This way I spray them just for extra safety because I don't like when they come, get stuck. So can you put one in each? Yes. That's your job. But there's not that many. Sure there is. Okay, there's another one. Wait, there's not many of the bags. Watch. I can do magic on Halloween. It's a time for magical things, huh? Another one? I right. I yeah. can do magic too. How many more do I need? One, two, three, four. Watch me do magic. Watch gonna... you do magic? I can't. Okay, do ready? Magic. Here. Let's turn it around this way. Are you sure you can do magic? Yeah. I always can do all mummies can do magic, right? No, they can't. Sure. No, they can't. They make you, right? Your mummy made you and that was magic. No, that's just what the world makes. Oh, it's what the world makes it. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Pick a color you want me to do. I want this. Okay, so what no, I'm going to do. I want to pour oh, it. No, no, we're going to pour it in. All right, I'm going to let you pour it in. See what I'm going to do? I cut the little tip off. And you're going to squeeze it for each one of them. A little bit in each. Ready? Only a little bit. Well, we'll see. That's good. All right, stop. Next one. Ready? We're gonna fill them all. Only, yeah. only a widow in this yeah. wall. Yeah, that's it. On, only this color in this yeah. wall. Stop. We'll see why. Stop. Okay, go. It's like milking a cow, right? A little squeeze. I okay, wanna, next one. I wanted to go up. We're gonna do them all. We're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna put a little bit in each one. But I don't. We don't do in D three. All of them. Thing. Wait, I don't want to do. I want. I don't want them only to be. Well, I'm gonna show oh, you. Wait, I don't want them all to be the same color. They're not gonna be. They're all gonna be different colors. That's what no, I'm saying. No, I. 
I don't. What's the next color you want? Give me a dark color, either the blue or the green. Pick another color. Pick another color. What other colors next one? Blue or green? No, blue or green so they'll see a difference. You want blue? Is it all set? Don't open it. Remember how, what, I, what I do at the bottom? My magic cup. What is that look for? What? It's going to go on top of it. Huh? And that's not really how this is supposed to be cooked. Yeah, no, see, but then what did I say about magic cupcakes? You going to help me with this one? Okay. You'll see when I have them. Because when they cut open, they're going to be all colors. Okay, what's the next color? You want to put red next? Yeah. All right, make sure it's all mixed. I want to put, wait, I want to put the we'll put, we'll yellow put, on top. We'll put red, then yellow, then green. How's yellow that? Yellow on top. On the way top, top, the last one? Yeah. All right, we can do that. So green is, no, we're going to put red next, right? Right. All right, can I have the you red Can I do one? it? Thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. Part of working with kids on any project is keeping their focus. And you find sometimes it's a little harder than others, right? Wait. Are you focused? Yeah. Do you know what focused is? What? Ah, what you're trying to do, and you're being really good at it. Oh. See? Wait, what's my next color? Green. Green, all right. Is it all mixed? Why don't, why don't we be careful here so we don't fall? I just can't climb. I know, I know. And if you fall down, what happens? Bah! Yeah, huh? Scrambled eggs for brains. Oh, man. After okay, this, green is next. After that, only one more. Then we can get Only on. one more color. And what <laughs> color is that? Yellow. Yeah, How many cupcakes do I have? Did we count them yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Awesome. So you know what 12 makes? A dozen. A dozen. So you want to learn You want to learn your times table a little bit? Can the, I show you the, something? This one that, is that a squatter again? Yeah, I'll show you a little times table it, thing, huh? Is that a squatter gun? It's, it's called, do I have school? Is that a squatter gun? No. no. What, then why is it squatter pen? We make it squirt. Is that what? Okay. Ready? Yellow? Yep. Yeah. All right. You've done very well here, CJ. See? Yellow on the top. Yellow on the top. We try to keep them all the same thickness. Yeah, it does make a little mess sometimes. And, uh, but it's a fun thing afterwards. One year I did it for my brother's birthday. They, everybody was worried about eating the cake because of all the colors you had inside. And they never saw this before. But since then it's been done you see it on TV and you see it in different cookbooks and everything else on the internet. So it adds a little excitement to a kid's birthday party. Sometimes I've done pink and blue for little girls' birthday parties, which make it really you know, pink, blue, purple, a little boy's blue and green, and then throwing a little chocolate in there for that little bit of dirt they like to get into all the time. Do you like to get into the dirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Good boy. Let me get, now I'm going to give you another job. You ready for your next job? Yeah. You're going to take a toothpick and give it a little swirl. Go around each one. See, like that. So do that on each one of them. I get a paper towel to wipe it. You didn't make the fingers yet. See, that's all. That's all you need for a little bit. We didn't make the fingers yet. Put fingers. Oh, wait till it's cooked and all that comes up, all that dough will come up. You'll see all the different layers. And that's the finger, you, you don't need a finger, you can use just the toothpick so it keeps the mess even less. Pretty colors. See the magic already? Yeah. See? They're not, you don't see it. Ah, it was a white cupcake it, or a yellow cupcake. It, it's no. even a mess. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in the oven so it will bake for us, okay? Oh, man. While it's baking, we'll wipe up and then we'll make some frosting. Do you like frosting? Yes. Yes, you like frosting? Okay, we'll make some frosting 
and we will take a little break. I think we need a little nap. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make our Halloween witch's fingers. And what we do is, I usually use scoops for everything. <laughs> yeah, we can put it right in there because this will all be the same size. So I'm gonna do, scoop one for yourself. Nice and tight, you want a nice big scoop. Nice big scoop. Yeah, and I take it. Just like that, and we're gonna roll them like long fingers. You got it? There you go, there you go. Now you gotta roll it like a long finger. And if it starts coming apart, squish it. Just give it a little squish, and we go it again, like a sausage, just like that. So it looks like a finger. Oh! oh that's all right, let's try it again. Oh, can I, 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 See, you can pour me another one? This gets it. That gets me another one? Scoop me some more, buddy. We'll make a few fingers. And what the whole idea is, your witch's fingers, the scary little fingers. You can use any sugar cookie recipe that you have um, that would be for a rolled cookie dough. Good job. And what I do is I try to get them about the same size, same thickness, because they'll cook evenly. If they're too, too big or too small, they won't cook the same. All right. See what I'm looking at? Can you make your finger now? Can I look at your finger? Is your scary finger? And then when I look, oh, Duh. I have knuckles on mine, so I try to give myself little pinches for knuckles. And you give them kind of a scary look to them. And then we take the chocolate. Watch, I'm gonna take the chocolate once. Okay. And take little balls. Uh -oh. oh, that's okay, that'll stay on the floor. And we're gonna make little tiny pieces on top to give us oh. that ugly, ugly fingernail. Okay, how are you doing with yours? All right, just put it Wait, down. I thought that was for the nails. There you go, that's an ugly finger. No, don't worry about that one, CJ. We'll just finish with these here so we can get them in the oven, all right? See, look at that. Then I take my fork and I just make a few little things to give it the ridges of your fingers. Does that look scary to you? No. No, okay. <laughs> Cool, that one looks good. And I'll put in my little finger marks. And we're gonna throw these in the oven. Wait, we need more. We need some more? All right, let's make a few more. Make them look a little scary, turn them around. Look at that, that one. Oh, that one's real scary. Can I put that in the oven? Yeah. All set. And in about 10 minutes, they'll be all set to come out. Now what do we do? Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my frosting together so we can decorate the cupcakes. Cupcakes are just finishing in the oven, they'll cool for about 20 minutes, and then at that point, I can just take them out and make very how simple decorations because inside is all the look. You wanna see all the colors, so outside should be just very simple. So what I did is I took frosting. You can choose your own favorite uh, recipes or you can buy some, and I added a little bit of orange and white to give it the simple pumpkin. Like I said, I don't wanna put too much decoration on the outside because it's the inside that looks and you know, it tastes wonderful and looks wonderful, but you're showing off. And CJ's just doing the quick decorations. A little chocolate and vanilla. Awesome job. Do you want to try one? Yeah. I, I, Which one? This one, or you want the one without chocolate? I want. Um, I'll try this one. You can have this one. Look at all those wonderful colors in there. Mm. And I'll have this one. How's that? Mmm, you like the frosting? Yeah, I want to save that one for okay. Mama. You can save that. And see, all the wonderful colors in here. You do cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mama, Absolutely it? wonderful. Mama, this one. <laughs> You've done a good job today. The only thing left, what do we have left to do? We have to left is our baking our... In them. Yeah, baking our fingers. Remember, the fingers are in the oven baking. <laughs> Once we have those out, we'll have everything out, and we'll come back in a couple minutes. Good, huh? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, good friends, good family, eat wisely, and celebrate each day for the love of cooking. Here, finger. Ow. <laughs> good going. Ow. Happy Halloween.